Hey, I'm Brian Cohn of Beco Knives. In this video, I'm going to be doing my first set of rock textured handles. I'm super excited. Let's get into it. To get this video started, I am getting this knife ready to have the handle shaped down to shape so that it's nice and comfortable in the hand so that I can put on these rock textured handles. Now, the rock texture handle is a really unique look and honestly looks a little bit jarring, but when you have it in your hand, you'll notice that it gives you a little bit extra grip and is really comfortable, so I really like the way it turned out. So one thing that you're going to need to do is make sure when you grind your handles to leave it just a little bit thicker than you normally would because when you put in that rock texturing, it's going to reduce a little bit of width. So definitely make sure to grind it just a little bit thicker. I've got the profile of the handle all ground down to where I want it and now I need to do the contouring so that this thing fits nicely in the hand. Um, to do that, what I do is I grind a 45 degree angle all the way around all of the corners to break that 45 degree. You can really see it here where the contouring is going a long way is to make it more hand shaped so it's not just so blocky in the handle. That helps a lot with ergonomics and will make this a much better knife. Next, I'm going to taper this thing to make it way more hand-shaped. If you're enjoying this video so far, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hey, it's free to you and only about 5% of the people who watch my videos actually subscribe and it would mean a whole lot to me if you would hit that button for me. Thank you. Now this is the general shape I like to bring my handles to because it is so incredibly comfortable. Both the tapers on the top and the bottom really make it comfortable in the hand and make this a wonderful EDC knife. Now I'm running it through my grip progression just to fine tune the little details to make sure that the overall shape is fine but you don't have to go overboard because you're going to be putting in all of this rock texturing so you don't really need to get it up all the way up to a high polish because honestly you're just gonna grind all that stuff away anyways. My last step shaping up my handles is to pay a little bit extra attention to where your index finger goes because nobody wants a hot spot right in that spot. I really pay attention and hit all of the angles so that there's no sharp spots and you'd be surprised just how much of a difference that can make. Now let's get this grinder flipped up on its side so I can finally put in that rock texturing. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you, this is a very finicky process that I promise at some point in putting in your first rock texture, you're going to stop and think, oh my god, I just ruined this knife. If you only continue, I promise it will start to look better. The real thing that you need to focus on is make sure that you constantly change your angles and that you're not just putting in the same rock texture in the same location because if you line up too many of them in the same orientation, it's going to look a little bit less random and you want that extra random texturing. Now, in a normal knife build video, this is the point where I would cut the video up so that you can just jump to the point where you can see the handle super pretty, but I want you to see just how long of a process this is and how much you have to move this handle around on the small wheel attachment to put in that random rock texturing. I will, however, speed it up for you. It's currently running at four times speed, so I'll just bump that up real quick. I am very pleased with how this thing has turned out. Um, not gonna lie, when I first put in a, the first couple of spots on here, um, my initial 
reaction is to, hey, what the hell are you doing? You're messing this thing up. Stop. But after you keep going and keep going, you really get this cool rock texture all the way across all of the faces. And it just feels so comfortable in the hand. I'm surprised at like how you can have all these like little you know bumps and edges on here and yet it still feels so comfortable in the hand so let's go ahead and take off the tape and show what the rock tumble texture what the rock texture handles looks like together and my goodness does that look pretty to me I'm so happy with the way that this has turned out I'm just so incredibly happy let's go ahead and put some oil on the handle some axe wax and just see how pretty it gets if you've watched my knife build videos in the past, you know that I love Axe Wax. They're not a sponsor, but I like to give them props because their product not only make my handles look so good, but it gives a nice protective coating that I love on all of my knives. I am incredibly pleased with how this textured finish turned out. Um, not only does it look incredible, but it feels really good in the hand. It gives you a lot of extra grip. Let's go ahead and get some close-up shots so you can see how it turned out. Hey, I also worked on another one, so there will be two in these close-ups. Like I said before, I am incredibly pleased with the rock texture on the handles itself. If you liked it or if you know of a better way to do that rock texture finish, let me know in the comments down below. Hey, while you're there, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. It would really help me because only 5% of the people that watch my videos actually hit that subscribe button. Please be among those 5%. Also, check out my Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok pages. Those are where you can see a lot more of my finished knives. I appreciate all of you guys for watching. Have a great rest of your day.